What up, squad? Oh, God. There's a lot of shadows going on, so I apologize. Okay, this week, I've set for myself... There's a fucking plane flying right now. You know, it's crazy because they're so far away, yet they make so much noise. I understand they're a big piece of fucking flying metal, but goddamn. Damn, son. Damn, son. Anyway, I set this week aside for myself for a quick little break from everything. Even though I still have a bunch of shit to do, I'm in a peaceful environment. I'm alone. I'm able to do what I want to do. Basically, this is going to be like a taste of living alone. And I think I'm going to love it. And it's just going to push me to want to get to that point in my life faster. Because I've always wanted to live alone. I plan on living alone at some point in my life, whether that's in the near future or many, many years away. I plan on doing it. I'm excited for it. Can you even tell that I'm speaking when I'm in the chat? Wee, wee, wee. Yeah, you can. come outside to get some fresh air but it's like cold and I'm not happy about it I don't like the cold weather I'm not I'm not a fan of winter I just strongly dislike winter strongly dislike it I did half of everything that I had planned for me to do today so I'm taking a really quick break right now because I have a meeting in an hour but I wanna make myself some breakfast. Today, I'm a bit more tired than most days just because last night was one of the, no, that was the first time that I really like let my emotions out since my mental health has taken a step towards the worst, 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 worst. And it was just like all pent up energy that just completely like let, I just, just left my body it's still there but a lot of it just like exploded and i'm just very physically drained today's gonna be a pretty like blah day i don't know That's the best the lighting is gonna get. I want to preface this by saying that this is my first time trying my local supermarket, like farmers market, their granola, and it's my first time trying oat milk. In case anybody gave a shit, I am eating berries and some granola and putting some milk in it and pretending it's cereal because I don't have cereal. And then a slice of peanut butter toast with banana sliced on top. Let's try this. It tastes like a Nature's Valley bar. I'll put a picture up. It tastes like that. Oh. Oh, okay. That tastes fine. Here's my breakfast lunch. It 
it's so much later now and I forgot to like record in between them but like nothing even happened I ate I got on FaceTime again with my parents edited videos and then like literally just watched cartoons um I'm gonna go to bed because like I'm waking up early tomorrow and I'm feeling tired so I'll catch you guys tomorrow night what I'll get you that I'll cut fuck I'll catch you guys tomorrow oh fuck I missed the camera Okay, so I'm gonna go get breakfast. It's one o'clock. I'm excited because I'm hungry and this is one of my favorite breakfast places that's only really here. Gonna eat good today, son. They're closed. I'm very disappointed. Aww. So, <coughs> every time I eat now, I get this coating of fucking food around my uvula. And I drink water while eating, so I don't know why <laughs> this happens. If you know why this happens, please let me know. Because I'm tired of it. I don't want to go home. So I think what I'm going to do is drive to like a spot that I know and do some work in the car at the spot. That's my plan for right now. I'll let you know if that changes. I came back home for the class that I have from 3.45 to 5. But we have a midterm this week that I forgot about. I took the midterm and I was done. And then my 6 to 7.30 class got canceled. So I'm good for the rest of the night, Mo. So I made myself a little quick game plan of what I'm going to do for the next hour and a half. I'm going to go to CVS and I want to get myself cereal. Because I want to have cereal at night tonight. Me and my mom talk about this all the time. Cereal at night is such a satisfying thing. So that's what I'm doing tonight. And then I'm also going to go find another spot and I'm going to do some writing, disengage from looking at a screen for so long. And then I'm going to come back home and going to work on some secret projects that I can't really mention in this video. Jokes on you. My magazine just released their 12th photo shoot. It's called Not So Sweet Dreams. It was released for you know, Halloween, like a Halloween special. Definitely go check it out. The link will be in the description. How we feel. And obviously you guys are gonna come along. just went down this morning and I'm feeling very overwhelmed. I'm very, like, I feel just scatterbrained and I feel not even remotely close to myself. That being said, I really need to go on this shopping trip. So we're gonna do it just so I can clear my mind a little bit because I won't be able to do anything else today if I don't 
Even though all this shit nonsense is going on, we're going shopping like swag. So I thought I'd show you guys my outfit. First of all, I did makeup. By makeup, I just mean eyelashes, eyebrows, and lips. Because my skin is shot. Wearing this nice little New York hat. Your mother. This is my jewelry for today. Um, white shirt from Brady Melville. This jacket I got off Depop, but I'm pretty sure it's like vintage Gap or something. And then these pants I got at the thrift store. No idea what the brand is. Fit! Oh, here's my bag. So we're gonna make one more stop because I feel much better now and at this point I'm already here. It's only like 10 miles away. There's no reason not to do it. It's just to go see a bookstore that I really, really, really like. I don't know if I'm gonna buy a book. That's a question for future me. I look so odd. All right. I showered and I put a face mask on um, and now I'm going to eat some dinner and do some more work and then I'm going to go to sleep. I want to show you guys what I got from that bookstore. I'm going to go get it. This is the book. It's called I'm with the band Confes Confessions of a Groupie, Pamela Desbares. I don't know how to say her name correctly so if I butchered it, I'm sorry. She was a groupie for multiple bands back in the 60s and 70s. And she just has like a really cool insight of what it was like. Excited to read this because I don't read, but maybe this will make me read. Because reading is good for you. to record too much because I want to be one with nature. No, I'm just trying to fully experience this because it's just been a really long time since I've been here. But I also really want to show you guys everything that's here. I've just been doing work, you can't see that. I've just been doing work since I got home and then I decided that, oh, maybe I should eat dinner. So I got myself pizza. So I'm gonna eat that, probably do some more work and then that's pretty much it guys. My life is so exciting. But I go home tomorrow, kind of upset about it because I really enjoyed my time here. Even though I've been a little bit stressed and stuff, I really have been enjoying it. But all good things must come to an end, right?